Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here, and good Lord, when's the last time you saw one of these? Boy, it's been years since I've had one of these little treks, and you won't believe the cult following of these little motorhomes. Today, we're going to look at a 1994 Safari Trek Model 2400 built by Monaco RB, and these things, they have an unusual following, folks. Uh, people that call uh, have them, they go to rallies, they have clubs, they call themselves trekkies. These are neat little rides. They're on, it's only 25 feet long, which is only three or four foot longer than a class B camper van. They've got, it's got the little Isuzu 3.9 liter intercooled turbo diesel, 91,000 miles, which is anybody that knows anything about Isuzu diesels will tell you is absolutely nothing. NPR chassis automatic transmission this is the pathmaker edition so it does have the hydraulic leveling jacks got a 3.6 liter on and lp generator i've got the motor running i've got the generator running dash air is cold roof air is cold this is a neat little rig folks today is monday may the 8th 2017 folks this one will be sold in 48 to 72 hours I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction because these are extremely rare and like I said there is almost a cult following for these little treks online but folks this is a good looking local trade-in came in on a big diesel motorhome they've owned it for several years got Michelin tires on it they've, they've taken extremely good care of it windshields look great Look at that exterior, folks. This is just how it came in. Look how bright and shiny that is. Uh, this looks like fiberglass, but this is actually uh, polished metal, like they put on cargo trailers and semi-trailers. They don't glue this in. This is riveted in. You've got rivets at the bottom. Rivets here, rivets here, rivets there, rivets there, and rivets at the top. The advantage of that over fiberglass, it costs a lot more to build them like this, but you don't have any delamination worries like you do with an older fiberglass unit. What it is, delamination is when the fiberglass separates from the Luon backer board because the glue that holds it together loses cohesion due to water and or heat. And that's why you see so many older motorhomes with bubbles on the side of it because they've delaminated. That glue's lost its punch. But since this is riveted, this thing's 23 years old and it looks better than some motorhomes I got out here that are only five and six years old. I mean, that's because of that smooth metal siding. It looks great. Got the simulators. Folks, This is a, these things get incredible fuel mileage for an RV. Uh, Safari, back in the mid 90s when they built this, they claimed 14 to 16 miles a gallon. From what I've read on some of the forums and stuff on these treks, about 12 to 13 miles per gallon's average, which is incredible for this size motorhome. Granted, these are not built for power, they're built for economy, but I've driven this one myself down the interstate. It will run about 70 miles an hour, and be honest with you folks, if you need to run much faster than that in a, in a vehicle this size, you need to just buy a car or an SUV and stay in a hotel room. You know, this is perfect for just cruising along. You get great fuel mileage. This is something that anybody can drive, folks. It's extremely, extremely easy size to drive and park. It does have, they put the cargo tray on the back so you can put extra stuff in it. Uh, it had a mural on the back, folks. Every one of these had a custom mural, but they've either tried to remove it or it's just faded over the years. More than likely, they tried to remove it and just gave up on it. And it's got one little boo-boo right here in the back corner. I'm just being honest with you. I don't want surprises any more than you do. I mean, just a little crack in the fiberglass, not gonna hurt a thing. And then right there in the corner, they obviously backed into something. You know, for a 23-year-old motorhome, that's the only bad spot on it, folks. That's, you're doing pretty darn good. Uh, DSI water heater, 3.6. Uh, Onan generator with 175 hours, it runs perfectly. <laughs> Fiberglass roof. I mean, this is a neat ride, folks. I promise you, this is something you're not going to find at your neighborhood RV dealer. This is something somebody's going to travel cross country to buy. They're just that rare, folks. That rare. 
It's got the three jack system, the HWH hydraulic jacks. We'll make sure that works. Got the awning. We'll make sure that works. That 3.9 liter Isuzu turbo diesel is an intercooled one. And it will take you down the road probably about as fast as you want to go with something like this. Now it does have a hitch on it, folks, but like I said, these are built for fuel economy. They're not built for power, so you're not going to be able to tow too awful much behind it. Maybe a small vehicle, a really lightweight small vehicle, but that'd be about the limit of it, folks. I think they had a, either a PT Cruiser or they had some little vehicle they towed behind this. Awning looks good. Power steps. Let's look inside. Uh, originally sold new in Kentucky, which that's a good sign. And folks, you're looking at it just how it came in. We haven't done anything to it. We haven't modified it. Haven't cleaned it. Got the, It's a rear bath model. It's got, of course, the Safari Trek, the Electro Magic Bed. That's kind of a staple in these, and it lowers down from the ceiling. But we're going to start here in the front, folks. The dash air, believe it or not, is ice cold. My own personal 2008 Winnebago motorhome, the dash air is not cold. This one's still cold. Automatic, of course. Uh, no check engine lights, no warning lights. It's running right now. Uh, HWH hydraulic levelers. Uh, CB radio, CD player. It's got an HD TV up here that they've upgraded. It's got the electric bed that lowers down from the ceiling, and I'll show you that here in just a second. In fact, let me try to move these seats back a little bit. The secret to these Electro Magic beds, you got to put the front seats, you got to move them back. And y'all, excuse me, folks, I'm trying to do this one handed. Well, I got them back a little bit. They'll go back farther, but at least that'll let me show you how far the bed will come down. And it will go a little bit farther than what I'm going to show you, but at least you get the idea. Of course, ice cold roof air that's blowing cold right now. You know what's neat about this size vehicle, folks, is that dash air will keep this RV comfortable. So you don't have to run your generator and roof air while you're driving down the road. Um, that's why it's only got 173 hours on the generator. The electric bed works great, and that's about as far as it's going to go, folks. Now, it'll go down farther if you swivel the seats around or put the seats back some more, um, but that's plenty right there. That's a queen bed. Queen mattress, got some foam on it for extra comfort. I'm going to go ahead and raise it back up, and you can see it just goes up into the ceiling. Neat motorhome, folks. I'm six foot four and I can walk through this thing completely without hitting my head. Except I got to duck down just a little bit underneath that bed. And I think our generator is about to run out of LP, so. So I can walk everywhere, but I have to bend just a little bit to go under there. Now, folks, the people, they've owned this thing for several years. They took the chairs out that came with it. They've lost them. They've moved since then. They don't know where they're at. Now, I'm selling this unit with two chairs. I just ordered them about an hour ago, and I decided to go ahead and shoot this thing and just put the chairs in when they come in. I actually found two narrow chairs that I believe is going to match this furniture. They're leather, ivory leather chairs, and um, they're coming. They're not going to be here till May 16th, um, but they are coming for it, so that's included with it. It's not shown in the video. Or the pictures. Eight cubic foot nor cold refrigerator freezer. It's already getting ice cold, folks. And you can see that it's on. It's clean. I mean, these folks, they've owned several motorhomes. And uh, this is by no means a beginner's motorhome that nobody's taken care of. This thing has been well cared for, folks. Got the uh, padded headliner that helps reduce road noise and help the insulation factor. You've got a table and two chairs. And folks, this chair does, uh, well, there goes our generator. <laughs> We're about to go. Uh, this, this chair does slide back. It's got a step cover you put down, and it goes all the way back for more room. 
microwave, stove top, got a toaster oven, it's got a built-in inverter so that you can run your 110 appliances while you're driving down the road. Now it's not going to run the air conditioner but it'll run a refrigerator, microwave, TV, things like that as long as your motor's running to keep it from killing your batteries or plugged into shore power or a generator like we are now. These are all solid hardwood cabinets. I mean, this is a Monaco, folks. This is the same brand that builds Holiday Rambler and Beaver and all the those, those other high-end ones, folks. Signature and the rest of them. Uh, rear bathroom, you got a stand-up shower with a skylight that looks great. Big vent fan. Look how thick that roof is. I mean, just for an example, that's at least a 10, 11 inch thick roof. Uh, you've got a vanity area, medicine cabinet, big closet across the back. I mean, this is, of course, your inspection sticker back there. You know, folks, this is a, <laughs> you know, this is, I, now, folks, don't get me wrong. This is not a new motor home. It's 23 years old. But I promise you, you're not going to find a 23-year-old motor home in better condition than this one is. I mean, this is just a neat little ride. It's a neat little motor home. This is something two people or one person. I mean, you can sleep up to four in here, but this is something a couple can hit cross country in, get great fuel mileage, have plenty of room to be comfortable. And this is only four foot longer than your average half ton pickup truck. So if you can drive a full size pickup truck, you can drive this little motor home without any problem. You can park it easily. Uh, dash air is cold. I mean, it's hard for me to, but I showed you the two little faults I see on the outside. Now, folks, we are going to do a major systems check on this motorhome after purchase. My certified RV techs are going to check the jack system, generator, put some propane in it, of course, so we check the generator. It's pretty low. We're going to drive it, make sure the running and driving part looks great. We're going to make sure the water system works, the propane system, no leaks anywhere. We're going to make sure the refrigerator works like it's supposed to on gas and electric. We're going to run it for about 24 hours. Uh, we're going to make sure water heater works. We're going to make sure the stove top, the microwave works. We're going to make sure, um, of course, that roof air works, but we'll make sure that. Inverter's on. We'll make sure it's putting out like it's supposed to. We're going to make sure that all the drawers, cabinets, the sofa makes a bed, all that stuff works like it's supposed to. We're going to check all the vent fans. Make sure that works, all the lights, make sure those work. And there's more to it than that. That's just kind of giving it to you uh, just in a quick uh, quick description. And if you want a copy of what we check out on an RV for what we charge, just contact our non-commissioned salespeople. They're more than happy to email you or fax you a copy of our checkout sheet. Keep in mind, folks, we don't check these units out until they're sold. So once it's sold, it will go into queue or go into line in the back and it will get, uh, and those units get checked out in the order that they were sold. So you may have zero in front of it, you may have five units in front of it, you may have 20 units in front of it. Depends on when you watch this video. Make sure you call ahead and ask for non-commissioned salespeople or sales department and ask them what the current lead time is to check out a used Class A. Uh, or, folks, this unit's $19.9. That's a haggle-free price with the inspection. If you want to take this motor home just like it sets, take the good with the bad. If there's any bad to it, we'll discount the price. But if you want this unit checked out, ready to go, it's $19.9. You offer me $19,800 for it, I'm going to turn it down. It's $19.9, haggle-free, and try to find another one for that price with this kind of condition. You're not going to, folks. Trust me. They're, they're, I don't think there's another one for sale in the United States right now. These things, they didn't build that many of them. And like I said, there's almost a cult following for these treks. And people hang on to these things for years. They don't hit the market very often. Especially with good mileage like this, with everything functioning for under 20 grand, is almost unheard of in a safari trek and it's got the motor everybody wants too it's got that 3.9 liter azuzu engine you know later years they put that 6.5 liter gm diesel folks that thing was junk and that ruined that's why they quit making the treks because that 6.5 liter uh diesel engine just ruined them because they did not hold up but this azuzu engine folks that npr chassis this thing's 
it wouldn't surprise me folks if you take care of this motor home and, and service and repair anything you need it wouldn't surprise me to see this thing on the road 20 years from now people still enjoying it they are built that well folks I promise you nothing today is built as solid as these old safaris were nothing that this was built back when the company cared more about quality than it did about cutting cost I mean they built a high quality motorhome and that's why safari well that's why monaco got sold while they bankrupted and, and got bought by somebody else because they priced themselves out of the market when everybody was cutting costs monaco didn't and they built a great quality unit and that's why you see so many old monacos and safaris 25 30 plus years old holiday ramblers still running the roads today because they built a great unit that was designed to last for decades or these other now you look at a 94 model folks and another cheaper made rv it's falling to pieces but not not a monaco yeah i'm surprised that generator is still running because it's right on the verge of running out of propane thank you for watching my video folks this is a nice unit um, if you have any questions please call us keep in mind I wasn't kidding folks if this thing's still here 72 hours from this ad being published it will very very much surprise me 199 haggle free out the door no extra fees will trade 706-965-7929 evenings and Sundays 423-605-6747 our website's parkwayrvcenter.com. We've got over 170 plus used RVs in stock. We're one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently owned used RV dealerships in the United States today. Got a great selection, folks, but don't expect to find many of these. Um, just Google 1994 Safari Trek. See how many of them you see that it doesn't say sold on it. <laughs> You're just gonna find this one, folks. This, these, these are extremely rare won't last long 19.9 that's a haggle free out the door price you know these other dealers may advertise a motor home for 19.9 but rest assured before you sign the dotted lines they're going to hit you up with thousands of dollars in dock fees prep fees freight fees processing fees checkout fees uh tip tag fees title fees and anything else they can think of folks and all those fees are 100 percent dealer profit and 100 percent unnecessary the purchase a used or new rv don't pay attention to them folks they're just a ripoff fee you know we've been doing this for almost half a century and our prices are the best on the internet and folks when you have the kind of turnaround we do you sell five to six hundred used rvs a year you know we don't have time for games gimmicks and all that stuff folks we uh, you know, we price these things to sell in our videos. We show you everything that I see wrong with them, so there's no surprises. Now, keep in mind, folks, that crack on the back and that fender, that's part of buying a used RV. That does not affect the functionality of this motorhome in any shape, form, or fashion. We're not fixing that. That's just part of buying a 23-year-old motorhome. You know, we concentrate on the functionality. Cosmetic stuff like that, folks, that's just part of buying one. And I promise you folks, this thing is going to sell quickly. This video is going to be seen hundreds of times in the next 24 hours. Thousands of people are going to read the ads on the 20 plus different websites that I advertise on, including eBay, RV Trader, and much, much more. Somebody's going to click to buy it now on eBay, or somebody's going to call us and leave a deposit on this motorhome. We, we can help you arrange nationwide delivery. We have financing available, even though it's a 94 model, folks, I still have limited financing. You will have to pay some money down, though, but I can probably get you 48 to 60 months with approved credit, or we'll be more than happy to work through your own bank or credit union. Uh, includes the two chairs. Like I said, they're not going to be into the 16th, but I've got two white leather barrel chairs that, at least on the Internet, look like they're going to match the front seats and the sofas very very close i'm sure they're not going to be exact but they're going to be very close ivory leather and believe it or not trying to try to find a 22 inch wide uh barrel chair is not easy <laughs> but i found two of them so but anyway folks give us a call 706-965-7929 
Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. We've got over 170 used RVs in stock, more than any dealer within a 500-mile radius of here. And folks, I'm going to tell you, you just can't beat our prices. And this is just one of those rare animals. It, it may be years before I have another one. All the different RVs that I go through, folks. It may be years, or I may never have another trek. They don't make these anymore. So once they're gone, they're gone. And um, people hang on to these. They don't get rid of them easily. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, call us. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Strongly recommend calling, folks, because when you sell five to 600 used RVs a year and you got four salespeople, they don't have a lot of time to sit behind a computer. So they check their emails in the morning and they don't check it again till the next morning. And during that time, very likely somebody will call and leave a deposit on this trek. So you probably want to call for faster service on this particular unit. And uh, like I said, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Don't expect it to be here more than a couple of days. Um, if you want to come look at it, you're more than happy to come look at it. Call ahead, make an appointment with one of my salespeople because I don't want you to drive several hours down here. And it says sold or deposit wrote on it because they sold it because we didn't know you were coming. This is something that there are literally hundreds of buyers ready to buy. And chances are a few of them is going to see this video and or the ad, and one of them is going to buy it. Thank you for watching, folks. We've been here for a long time. Um, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel because, like I say in my videos, you never know what you're going to see from one day to the next. I mean, I never saw this one coming until it came in this morning as a trade-in. And um, like I said, I... <laughs> I haven't seen had one of these in years. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.